now just before season four made its highly anticipated debut, one of the popular stars of the show, Finn Wolfhard, posted on his social media and subsequently got roasted by his co-star, Noah Schnapp. So stay tuned to find out everything you need to know, along with other need-to-know Stranger Things news. First up, Finn Wolfhard has been completely roasted by his Stranger Things co-star, Noah Schnapp. But why? Let's take a look. Observing the youthful cast members of Stranger Things transform into young adults right in front of our eyes has certainly been one of the many thrilling aspects of the hit TV series. It's possible that Noah Schnapp, the group's youngest founding member, is a case in point. His protagonist, Will Byers, has experienced various things over the years, including being kidnapped into the Upside Down, being possessed by the Mind Flayer, and perhaps, worst of all, appearing to be abandoned by his closest friends as they discovered girls and grew up beyond their Dungeons and Dragons days. Will never has, and in the recently finished fourth season, he tried to explain why to Mike Wheeler, his best friend. Played by Finn Wolfhard, Will's homosexuality and fear of coming out were immediately obvious. However, when Variety questioned Millie Bobby Brown and Schnapp in May for Volume 1 of Season 4, Schnapp responded that the orientation of Will was open to the audience's interpretation. Now, speaking of Noah Schnapp, when Finn Wolfhard, who plays Mike Wheeler on Stranger Things, commented a little too soon about the Season 4 Volume 2 release, Schnapp, aka Will Byers, completely torched him on Instagram. Wolfhard published a sweet Instagram post with many behind-the-scenes images from the Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 set. Wolfhard published the article a few hours before the Stranger Things Volume 2 premiere on Netflix. Following this post, he received the full brunt of the comments. And of course, Schnapp's remark was the funniest. Two more hours, but love the effort. Following his comment, Schnapp's reply racked up more than 63,000. Truly, nothing beats some friendly banter between co-stars. A few viewers also commented on the article, expressing their belief that the season had been published ahead of schedule due to Wolfhard's post. Thankfully, no major spoilers were posted, but it is still funny to look back on. Now, in other news, speaking about Stranger Things Season 5, Millie Bobby Brown claims she genuinely doesn't want her character, aka Eleven, to pass away. Recently, actress Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven in Stranger Things, has addressed remarks she made in the past about wanting Eleven to pass away in Season 5. In an interview, Brown clarified what she had previously said about Eleven on the press tour for Stranger Things Season 4. Several media sources published Brown's remarks from back in May, in which she seemed to want the Duffer brothers, who co-created the immensely successful Netflix series, to kill off their favorite characters. Brown has since acknowledged that she was only joking, but the words she gave to the media were taken at their value. Then, when asked again recently if she wanted Eleven and Mike to have a happy ending after season five, Brown responded, I say things like this, but then I also said I want her to die. She continued, Really, I have no idea. Additionally, I didn't choose it. The storyline for Stranger Things season five is unknown, although the show's writers have hinted at details about the last episode. The writer's room indicated that character arc and major narrative beat planning for the fifth season had started in early August of this year and should already be finished. Additionally, we know that season five will contain fewer episodes than season four. Rumor has it that filming will start in early 2023. Aside from those hints, little is known about Stranger Things 5. According to Brown, she also has very little knowledge. Brown said when asked, for an update on the series' conclusion. I won't even know how it finishes. I'll probably find out while I'm filming. I am as knowledgeable as you are. I am absolutely clueless. They also don't want to tell me. I have a really large mouth. The primary story of the Stranger Things franchise will end with season five, although there are spinoffs planned. Now, of course, we still have no idea who will survive and who won't in the final season of Stranger Things. A few characters may escape the Executioner's Blade. First off, we believe Jim Hopper, Will Byers, and Joyce Byers are mostly safe. Since Stranger Things Season 1, this group has endured enough tragedy. In Hopper's instance, the trauma began before the first season, due to the cancer death of his daughter. Additionally, Will's kidnapping in the show's first episode set things in motion, and his mother Joyce has had to deal with the consequences ever since. Therefore, let's hope these three characters make it through the Season 5 finale alive. Additionally, Eleven and Mike, however, are also likely to survive to fight 
quite another day. Eleven has already seen enough in her short life, thus it would be unexpected to see her killed off. We believe Mike will be safe because, given the trauma she has experienced, it would be stunning if he were also bumped off. Max could pass away, and it would surprise us a little if she survived the events of the Stranger Things 4 finale and woke up. She has experienced a lot, like the group of five mentioned before, so perhaps the Duffer brothers would feel pity for her and allow her to continue living in whatever form she takes. The remaining important characters, though, might all theoretically be eliminated, whether they have been present from the start of the series or if they have solidified their place as a fan favorite. Each character's death would be devastating for a variety of reasons. However, as Eddie, played by Joseph Quinn, demonstrated, you can be utterly cherished by the Stranger Things fandom and still pass away. So going into the last season of the show, nobody is really safe. Now in other news, popular rap star Megan Thee Stallion might be potentially joining the cast of Stranger Things. Here's what you need to know. She-Hulk helped the popular artist Megan Thee Stallion make her Marvel Cinematic Universe debut earlier this year. And now Hawkins, Indiana, another well-known TV location, appears to be her next stop. The rap star shared a carousel of images on Instagram on October 7th that included cue cards covered with the Stranger Things logo, in addition to shots of her Spider-inspired fall manicure. Not to mention her hair is scarlet to a Netflix standard. She appears to have posed for the photographs on a set while lounging in a director's chair next to the streaming services logo. While it would be historic if Meg joined the Hawkins crew in the last season of Stranger Things, this is likely a project for her significant Netflix deal. Megan will be producing and executive producing original programming for the streamer. It was revealed in December 2021. In a statement, Megan stated, I've always had a passion for telling imaginative and interesting stories, so I'm pleased about this cooperation with Netflix. Tracy Picosta, Netflix's president of comedy, added, Megan is a creative force with a variety of talents who have continuously left her impact on culture. She is constantly developing and changing as an artist. Therefore, we are delighted that she has chosen Netflix as her new home for this phase of her career. Whether it's a behind-the-scenes video or a cameo in the adored sci-fi series, we can't wait to see what Meg brings. And finally, speaking of the fifth and final season, when will it be released? And will there be a spinoff? While Stranger Things Season 5 will eventually be available on Netflix, it won't be until after you have had time to process Season 4's events. Fair enough, they did fully warn us, but we anticipate that our recovery will take some time. The gang will now engage in one final confrontation to save Hawkins and the entire world. Can they truly leave the upside down behind them and return to normal life? Regarding the release date, we know that Stranger Things Season 5 is coming, but we don't know exactly when that will happen. We know there was a very large gap between Seasons 3 and 4 at the time of the release of Season 4, Volume 2, and the crew had not yet started shooting the concluding episodes. Even with the pandemic scenario, it still took them three years to complete. Season 3 was released in July 2019, and Season 4 didn't premiere until June 2022, so we probably won't see the final season debut until late 2023 or early 2024 at the earliest. Now, we do know that Season 5 will have a major role in determining how Hawkins will withstand the destruction of the previous seasons. Beyond the emotional roller coaster that has been promised, the Duffers have been mum about what will transpire. However, it's not a reach to imply that these developments would affect the Stranger Things spinoff, because yes, there have been discussions about one, and not just hopeful tweets. The Duffers themselves have teased us with genuine information. The brothers stated that the Hawkins story did not finish with the season 5 conclusion. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Finn Wolfhard, one of the stars of the hit TV show Stranger Things, and why he got roasted by his co-star. Now make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. And as always, thanks for watching.